Hello again from AppliCAD. Well, today we want to look at a, a, the, a new bunch of tools we have in our Quick Roof technology, uh, features added to the latest release to um, speed up the process of creating uh, roof geometry and client proposals. So what we're going to do today is look at this, this um, a bunch of flat roof um, planes that we wish to generate a cut list for a, a steel roof. Um, we zoom in on the area of interest and then we'll go to our uh, snipping tool and uh, we'll create a new snip. There we go. That's now going to be pasted into our AppliCAD software. We go to our main menu, construct roof, digitize outline. And uh, instead of using the regular digitize outline, we're going to use our 2D digitize outline. Now the 2D digitize outline doesn't create a 3D model. It draws all the individual roof planes, one plane at a time, and it draws them in 2D. And for s some complicated roof geometries that are very awkward to create in 3D, this speeds up the process of generating a client um, proposal uh, enormously. So we paste a clipboard image and we're ready to digitize over the top. So um, we constrain the angles to 45 degrees so the lines are nice and square and uh, we'll constrain the lengths to plus or minus 100 millimeters. So ready to digitize. So we'll start off at the ridge line up here. So digitize carefully. Use your crosshairs to guide you. And as we digitize each line, the software wants to know what sort of line it is. So that will be an eave. This will be a gable. This will be essentially another eave. And this will be cross a line your crosshairs. This will be another gable line. And snapping to that corner up there, that will be a ridge line. Now the software wants to know what the pitch is. So as I recall, this was 25 degrees. And it automatically pitches it to the eave line. So now we we do the next area and that will be a gable line that will be essentially an eave line that will be a gable line align your crosshairs and that will be an eave and snap to that corner that will be a gable line and snap to that corner and that will be another ridge line and this is sloping at 25 degrees so as you can see very easy uh, you, you're not fussed about making the geometry fit you're just copying what's underneath the um, on the underlay and uh, in this case in fact this eave pops in under that uh, gable so we better draw it that way and we noticed that when we looked at the architect's drawing so that will be a uh, apron line because it's butting up to the wall. Uh, that will also be an apron line butting up to the wall, and that will be a gable line. And okay, same down here. So we start just in under the eave, about 300 mil, and down to that's the gable line. Now, if you make a mistake. Um, you can step back. If you make two mistakes, step back again. So these are the tools built in to ensure you get the best possible result. So that will be, what are we up to? Um, no, that'll be an eave. And then we come up to here. That will be a gable line. Over here will be an apron line. And up there. That will also be an apron. It's butting up to the wall. Middle button, snap that corner. That's also an apron. And that's pitching to this line at 25 degrees. Okay, so that's that job. Now, it's almost done. The only problem is we now have to check that it's the correct scale. When we bring our clipped image in, uh, it's at an indeterminate scale. So we have to then adjust our model to suit. So to uh, to verify that, we go to, um, to our measure length measure the length of that and it says that it's 13 meters well that's not bad it's pretty close but the problem is that the length is supposed to be 10.5 so the images come in a little too big so we select continue get out of there 
and if we go back to our main menu construct roof uh, 2d and scale model we're able to scale independently in x y and z and in this case we're going to scale them more proportionately the current dimension is 13 meters but the actual dimension is 10.5 so um, we put these numbers in, we hit OK, and the entire model is rescaled to be the correct size. So now I can hide my image that I used and hit OK, and this job is ready to apply materials too. It's, um, it's interesting, however, to note that it's actually dead flat. So the, um, when we dimension it, what dimensions do we get? Well, we're getting the dimensions, the overall perimeter measurements, are the actual measurements on the ground, but the rake measurements, the measurement up the gable, is the dimension as if it was drawn in 3D. That's pretty cool stuff. And uh, the advantage of that is when we start to uh, apply materials. So if we go to our cover menu, um, select our metal panel, let's select this Cori 762, and um, uh, verify that we've got the right cover width, yes, and the right allowances, OK. And then we go to our main menu, cutting list, and generate individual panels. That's the typical way of doing a, a flat ski and roof. Um, most other methods um, end up with something a bit shonky, but uh, there we have it. So we have uh, uh, the, all the panels in place, that's good. And now we generate our cut list. And the cut list is, um, uh, you have the option of setting uh, the actual length. So I'm rounding this to the nearest 10 mil. And um, it's giving me the uh, panel lengths. I could also be showing actual length based on the model. Uh, or I can be using the um, panel identifier. Um, but I've chosen to show the rounded panel length, rounded to the nearest 10 mil. Uh, I, I get a cut list based on that um, um, those panels to be applied to this roof. I've got total coil required. This is 235 meters to create this job. Um, so I order that from the factory. Uh, I've got area of the panels versus the area of the roof and a waste factor. And that waste factor is based on a whole bunch of um, material being sliced off the end because it's not a multiple of our sheet width. So that's it. A very quick and easy way to create 3D geometry for those roofs that are a little bit funky, uh, that you might have some difficulty with. Um, forget the 3D, let the software take care of business, and you will still get the perfect result. So if I now go to the main menu, uh, report, and uh, supply and install, and the software will generate the detailed proposal for my customer as if I'd modeled the whole thing in 3D. Uh, it's quick fast and uh, surprisingly accurate and uh, you don't get bogged down with the complexities of some um, roof geometries that come through on our fax machine. Okay, so that's it for this uh, exercise. If you have any questions, don't forget to contact your AppliCAD support guy and, um, and perhaps uh, review some of our other uh, online tutorials at the AppliCAD YouTube channel. That's it for today. Look forward to uh, meeting you again at our next YouTube and uh, we'll speak to you soon. Bye for now.